everyone. I'm so glad that you have joined me today for some drawing. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw some of your favourite characters from movies and stories. It might be a little bit tricky so remember you can pause the video anytime you like so you can follow along and don't give up. I didn't become good at drawing straight away. I had to keep working at it and you will get there too. So let's get started. I'm going to show you a bunch of characters you will know. Let's start with Olaf the snowman from Frozen. Now to make his face, I need to do this shape here, kind of curved point down the bottom. And the top is smaller and it's a bit more pointed. Next is I do the top of his smile here, and then this is the inside of his mouth with his tooth there. Next of all, I will do his nose, and I will do his two eyes. They almost meet together. It's the same technique that we learned when we were drawing the different characters with the outline for the eye, then you colour inside the eye and you leave a little white gap. Olaf does have some eyebrows, so you can make eyebrow shapes and shade them in. And there is his face. Now on the top he's got some twigs and you can choose to do the twigs however you like. Remember that twigs are kind of random like shapes. Some of them might be a bit curved, but they kind of go off in different directions. Next, we will do the body, and I'm going to make this shape for the body. It's a bit of a weird square shape, but you can really choose to make the body whatever shape you want. I'm going to do the top one a bit smaller and the bottom one a bit bigger in this shape because I'm going to have him, he's going to be dancing a little bit in the air. His feet are one here and two there. And of course I need his arms, which come, they're pushed into the snow. And again, they're twigs. So you can choose to have however many fingers you want on that twig. You might want to have little bits coming out from the branches or not, up to you. I'm having mine a little bit like this because I'm having him be really happy. And he's saying, hi everyone. So now I can't forget to add the buttons for him. And here you have Olaf. If you want to do the cloud with the rain coming down like in the movie, you're welcome to do that. Next of all, I'm going to show you how to draw some angry birds. Let's draw three different kinds. The first one I need is a circle shape. And I start by doing a circle. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle, just the best you can. Inside it, I will do a triangle here for the top of his beak and a triangle here that doesn't quite go to the end. Now I'm going to do the eyebrows next. I know that we talked about this before. When the eyebrows go down, pointing in towards the nose or the middle of the face, that makes it look angry. So that's why I'm going to make my eyebrows point down for my angry birds and I'm going to shade them in black. You can choose to do whatever colors you like. Now I do my eyes and for the inside here. You don't need to leave any white gap in the middle unless you want to. On the top of this angry birds, he has got these kind of fe feathered things there. And if you want to make a tail for him or anything else, you are welcome to. Now there's another one who has got, a, who's a triangle shaped one. So see the triangle points, they're a little bit um, rounded um, and they have got the same thing with the beak. The top beak here, triangle shape. The bottom beak, again, is a bit smaller. How small is up to you? This one just leaves a little gap. This one leaves a bigger gap. Up to you how you want to do it. Once again, I'm going to have my eyebrows pointing in because he is an angry bird. I will shade them in.
And now the eyes. Try not to have your eyes go over the beak. I'm going to do a tail for him. Again, you can shade it black, color it whatever you like. I like to do this kind of rainbow loop shape there. And if you want to give him a head flame, you can. I didn't really leave myself enough space. But you can give him one. Say this is his head. You can make it like that. It's also fun to make draw these shapes again. It helps you practice. And it's fun because you then have like a baby one and an adult one. See how the eyebrows pointed in make them look angry. And um, there is also a girl angry bird that you can draw too if you like. And this girl, she has got a bow at the top. So this is how you draw a bow. This kind of rectangle shape. And then you go out and curve it around on that side. And you do the same thing on the other side. I like to do some lines coming up from the middle. It helps it look like the bow. Then I'm going to go around to make a circle for the rest of it. So it looks like the, ang the bow is sitting on top of my angry bird. Also, it has got these feather things at the top like this, but it's underneath her bow. I'm going to do the beak as well. So a triangle shape and then another triangle shape for the bottom. But once again, I am making my bottom one slightly smaller. Then I will give her her angry eyebrows. Shade them in so that they really stand out. They are angry birds after all. Now her eyes are a little bit different because she has got some wonderful eyelash. This is her and she likes to make them pop. Here are her eyes in the middle. She has got some little circles for the cheek and once again, that shape there. Her tail's a little bit different. She's got three parts to her tail. Now, once again, with these, you can mix and match them however you like. You can make um, different accessories for them, like bows, or you could give them a hat, or you could give them a little beard, or color them different colors you could change the shape of the eyebrows to make them not angry birds up to you so now we have Olaf and we have some angry birds next of all we're going to look at drawing a my little pony called Fluttershy some of you may know that my little pony to do that one I'm going to start with the head and my head is going to go this kind of rounded shape a little bit like um a rainbow on an angle and it goes out to a bit of a point which is where the nose and mouth is going to be. So this is the shape I start with. Here is where the mouth and the nose will be and her eyebrow kind of makes a curvy shape and goes into her eyelashes a little bit like eyelashes like the angry bird girl angry bird over here. Her eye is a bit different it's quite big the outline circle there, then the inside one, and then we do that trick where we leave the little white gap and color around the little white circle in the middle, I mean, and color around it. Next, we have got her ear here, and along the top and along in the top of her head and behind her ears is her hair, the mane, so it can go like all the way around like this and stop when you get to her face don't go on top because this here is behind you can make it look like here here by adding however many lines you like you can also do the same when it comes to coming this way in front again you can do the lines however you like to meet it up Now it comes down to her body, 
her legs come down to the bottom here and they are a bit wider in the bottom and then they go in a bit thinner as you go up don't go up too high otherwise you'll look like her body is too short then you do this part for her tummy and then you can do the back leg come in a little bit and then go over for her bottom so here's her legs see that it's a bit wider there and it goes in a bit thinner you can do the legs from the other side this way here and here you'll notice that they're a little bit not the same level as these feet because we're looking at it from a side view so if we're looking at it from this angle the feet would actually be further away from us so they look a little bit smaller the back i need to do her tail and you can make it really fancy however you want and as big as you want and then Fluttershy has got wings and some butterflies on the back. When you draw the small butterflies, it's like drawing a capital B on both sides. And there is Fluttershy. So now we have got Olaf, some angry birds, Fluttershy from My Little Pony, and we're going to finish off with Pikachu. So, Pikachu is a pretty fun Pokemon character, the most popular Pokemon character, I would say. I'm going to start by drawing his face shape. This is how I draw his face, okay? It's a little bit rounded, but not quite, and it leaves a little gap here because this is where one of his ears is going to be. And then the other ear is on the opposite side, but it's kind of tucked behind a little bit. So when I do this, I can make a little line here. This part is shaded in black. But if you want to make your Pikachu another color, that's up to you. Otherwise, this part will be black and the rest of its body will be yellow. So here is its face. Next step are the eyes, two eyes. Now these ones are a little bit different because they're just the eyes with little circles and then you color in leaving that little circle you drew white. The nose is kind of a little triangle shape. And then the mouth, you can draw your Pikachu however you want, but my Pikachu is feeling pretty happy. Next, I'm going to draw these little circles because Pikachu has red little circles on his cheek. When I come down to the arms, I make these kind of rounded shapes. See how one connects to the face? These ones look like they're a little bit in the middle because the body comes along here. And I draw the fingers. I'm not sure how many fingers Pikachu has, so you can just make it up. And then connect the body from underneath the fingers here you get down to the bottom there. The feet are quite easy to draw. They are just these shapes with some lines for his like claws or whatever they he calls them. And then his famous lightning bolt for the tail. So it's zig, zag, zig, zag, zig. All right, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig gets wider the further up you go, gets smaller the further in. See? Wider, smaller. And this part here, he also has colored in red with some red kind of stripes on the side. So there you have it. We have got Olaf, Angry Birds, Shutterfly from My Little Pony and Pikachu. Now you know some different characters from your favourite stories and movies that you can have a go at drawing. Have fun drawing. I had such a great time drawing and I really hope that you did too. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great week. Bye.